Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Yeah, exactly. We need more pain. We need more damage. We need more suffering within your body. Man, you need rest. You need a holiday and meat. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I can't believe it. Here we are again reacting to Hench Herbivore. But this time Hench Herbivore is not alone. He brought Joey Carbstrong to a vegan fitness day of eating. Can't wait to see those two fit vegans. Let's have a look. Do you want to optimize your health, body shape or sports performance? Then eat meat today. While creating a kinder world, I've got you covered kind with another vegan full day of eating. It's oh, fantastic. Creating a kinder world by moving away food sovereignty from regular people to big corporations. Or by destroying habitats and killing millions of animals whilst we create more monocultures. Go vegan. Okay, so I want a breakfast that's nice and light, yet yeah, high in calories, high in protein. So we're going to go in with a chocolate smoothie bowl. The base is going to be fried. All right, I want a high protein meal, so I'm going to eat a chocolate smoothie bowl. Yes. This when your bananas are high protein, it's just a good way to uh, save them. And I want plenty of dates for sweetness. For more I'm sugar. Add a couple of hundred mils of. Uh, Man, let's just face it: the only people on Earth that could use so many carbohydrates are cyclists. Back in the day, you had Durian Rider, you had Freedy the Banana Girl, and they were promoting a high carb diet because they were cycling. For you as a bodybuilder, this is a great way to destroy insulin sensitivity. Protein powder, a couple of tablespoons of cocoa powder. Of course, some can't forget. Chia seeds for omega threes and Disgusting. for omega three and anti cancer lignans. <sighs> now for the Without protein powder, vegans do not have any protein in their foods. To decorate, so we get some banana. More sugar. And some kiwi. And we'll decorate him up. <coughs> we'll have some coconut flakes as well. Wow, this is so gay. Why would any man decorate his smoothie bowl? Here we go. Mother f <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Man. Before we have breakfast, a quick word about supplements. Don't have slippery oily. Your food. breakfast is already a supplement. The basis of your bowl is protein powder. Otherwise, you would just have sugar, vitamin C, and phytoestrogens. Supplements. That's it. Over the top of your breakfast. Because you make yourself look like a pillock on uh, the internet. <laughs> What's the thing on his head? I was going to say B12. Have that before you eat, because that's better absorbed on an empty stomach. Wow. I do. So I like the sublingual ones from Viva Life. I find and that they don't good. understand that they create more human suffering. They're talking about a kinder world. How is this a kinder world? Why would anybody trade their breakfast consisting of scrambled eggs for this mess? Absolutely repulsive. You need three supplements to start your day and then proceed to have your breakfast, which is the fourth supplement. So wow. Have it before you eat. They don't get don't it. I don't know what one this is because it's covered in chocolate. <laughs> uh, Omega 3 you can have any time, really. The D3. It might be beneficial. You vegans love studies. So look into the studies of those algae supplements that you use for omega threes. They are full with solvents. You have it with a little, with a meal, it's true. With some fats. Although it is in an oil carrier, so it might not really matter. Fantastic. Doesn't matter. More vegetable oils for me. I like to have it. It's with good. Breakfast. It's healthy. The flax and chia and coconut hair, which are of course fatty. You like to have it covered in smoothie, apparently. <laughs> It's so cringy, man. Go on, lick it off. You know you're going to. Man, <laughs> 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 come on. <laughs> delicious. Anyway, I'm going to try and uh, get over this embarrassment. Have my breakfast. I'm yeah, gonna... that was the embarrassment. You guys at the gym. Jesus Christ. I thought you were for a compassionate lifestyle. Why do you have to take Jesus' name in vain? Gemma just Doesn't matter. Out. She's now been training. Uh, wow, man, the deterioration is tremendous. Look at this. We all know that vegans have lesser brain function, and this is why they don't see their own deterioration. They're laughing it off, even though the truth stares them in the face. For five months and one wow, week, man. which you guys might not know, depending on how long oh, you've been watching dude, the channel. Dude, look a at a that skin, man. thing, isn't it? Tell us more. Yeah, well, I've been wow, getting covering my hair 
then usually when you face the sun your skin looks softer time, wow. my health's been getting better and better like every year but i've not really found i can consistently like work out for this amount of time for a lot of years i would like train for a few weeks or months and then i'd like get a little bit of fatigue a little patch of that and then i have to stop and it's like your body just couldn't handle training wasn't it basically yeah yeah, basically. yeah, wow, that sounds awesome. That sounds really like she's on a healthy diet. Her body can't even take any type of training. Go vegan! Got better. Yeah. And this is the whole reason Gemma went vegan and I went eventually sure, went vegan. Sure. Yeah. Please take into consideration that most people already eat a plant-based diet prior to veganism. Then when they go vegan, they cut out the junk food at first and this is why they start feeling better. Why don't you keep that open mind that led you to veganism? That open mind is needed right now. Have a look, check out the spectrum, see what other people are doing to reclaim their health. Do you really want to keep on struggling like this? Yeah, so like I, I, my health was like a lot better in a lot of ways, but I still couldn't train, you know, I just still couldn't handle that, wow, that effort of that. But um, yeah, consistently managing it fine now and doing really well. I'm so happy, I'm actually getting so much stronger in my body and I've wanted that for years. So oh really man, happy. just try meat and see how much stronger you would get. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Okay. I'm training upper back today. Because I'm not doing like a push-pull split, I'm separating my muscles up more like a brace split. <laughs> All I see is pure torture. I remember clearly how it felt like to me when I was a vegan. During veganism, lifting weights is just pain and suffering. It simply hurts. Once you start eating meat again, it's actually fun to lift heavy weights. This poor woman. They simply both destroy themselves. That's what they do. Wow. It's so cringy, the whole thing. Oh, come on, man. Why do we have to see this now? What's the point? You guys are in your late 40s. Why do you have to film the butt of your woman? Last set for, any for everybody to see. I like to add some metabolic stress. What's going on? So what I'll do is a double drop set. So I'm doing 100% of my workout weight, straight down to 75%, another set, straight down to 50%, no pause, another set. So I'm doing three sets back to back, high reps, just creates more pain, more uh, muscle fiber damage and more growth. Don't do it at the start of your workout though. Yeah, exactly. We need more pain, we need more damage, we need more suffering within your body. Man, you need rest, you need a holiday and meat. Like if you just totally knack it up muscle group, you're not lifting half as heavy for the rest of the workout, so save it for the end. As this is more postural, it's kind of like stamina, so you want to do higher reps, maybe... <sighs> Man, Hench, you know it yourself. The only reason why you have any substantial amount of muscle is due to steroids and protein powders. You know very well that your woman won't build any muscles. Moreover, she won't be even able to tone up with all of those excessive carbohydrates. What she needs is, of course, saturated animal fats to regulate her hormones and bioavailable protein. None of this is found in the vegan diet. Why do you want her to suffer? Like that. Three sets of 15, maybe three times a week. This is so sad. This genuinely makes me sad. <sighs> what have you been working at me? Looking at me. <laughs> Just do a keto diet. Oh. You're working really hard. Yeah. Proud of you, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Watching Gemma work out wow, makes me hungry. Man. Dude, you're morphing into the thing. Let's go home and eat. <laughs> For lunch today, I'm making Paul a hot and creamy noodle soup with tofu. So you could obviously marinate your own tofu, but today we're going to use this 
flavoured one from the Thai fun goes especially nice in this particular dish. Japanese style. Tofu has been shown multiple times to disrupt hormones. We know that. The only reason why his hormones are not disrupted is because he uses exogenous hormones. I have absolutely no issues with steroids whatsoever. But if you use them to mask the deficiencies of the vegan diet, you are a scammer. So I've got some it's even pepper, worse onion, than the fake netties. Red cabbage, garlic, and some chili. Green chili. Oh, and carrot, did I say that? Oh, God. Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna chop them very skinny. Okay, this is all side dishes, just vegetables. Well, As I said before, so. garlic, very antiseptic, destroys microbes. So we're not cooking the purple cabbage because when we did it before it made the dish go a funny color, but we're gonna add it on top for garnish at the end. And we're gonna chop it's the all just garnish. Cubes. Get the tofu on to cook. Wow. Steam fry your vegetables. Now we're adding in Thai green curry. I'm not gonna even comment on the kale. Paste. This one's no point. Potent, so you watch my videos, you know. Got left, which is about three tablespoons. Now add in around a couple of hundred mils of vegetable stock. We're using this vegetable umami one. Yeah, because umami tastes like. Hmm. Oh, wow. Now get some noodles on to cook. We're a fan of these brown rice vermicelli noodles. They cook in just two minutes. All you've got to do is add some boiled water to them. I think it's three minutes. Uh, what you have is yet again carbs on top of carbs on top of carbs. Side dishes on top of side dishes. Absolutely no fat soluble vitamins. How will you survive? Don't worry about it. Something How? Like Don't worry Something about it. Back. Exactly. Anyway. I'm going to add some cashew cream into this dish. So if you want to make For a more compassionate world, yes, let's eat cashews. It's super compassionate. It's not as if the workers' hands are burnt off completely. Save the animal. Today is just 250 mils yes. of water with 175 grams of cashews. Wow. Just blend it up until it's smooth. Yeah. And then if you've got some left over, pour mm. into some ice cube trays and... God forbid taking some full fat dairy from local cows in Britain. In God Britain, forbid, please. Oh, nice. We can't. Do savory it. and sweet dishes, isn't it? Yeah, you could put this on like strawberries or different fruits, or put it in a curry. There's loads of things. Or you can eat a steak. You have to make quite a bit of it in order to make it go round in the blender, so you you won't use all of what you make. So that's why we said all of that. I'm going to add in my noodles to the bowl first, then the vegetables, then the cabbage, then the tofu goes on in the middle. I don't want to eat and a bit of anything garnish, of this dish. Some chili. It's so repulsive. Some black sesame seeds and some white sesame seeds. Okay. Hot and creamy what and is this? very, very delicious, guys. You've got to try that one out. In the interest of this is what I eat in a day video, so you need to know the other stuff I'm eating. Uh -huh. You've got some dates, like to have some fruits in there, more calories. And I've got a few <laughs> little Brazil nut halves there. Just top up my selenium. Yeah, sure, that will do the job. Why would you need more sugar in form of dates added to your noodles? I'm gonna get this. Not enough carbs. Fill myself up. Then we're off to meet a very good friend in the city centre to help him out today. Best so friends. Guess who it is yet? What? All right, now we're all. In. Oh wow, man! Still evangelizing. Got a friend here. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. Good. Excited to have you down, my friend. Hench is my bodyguard today. <laughs> yes. That last one was scary. Oh, really? Yeah, it was too big for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, that's all right. I kept him tame. <laughs> I was polite, so. Was he a former vegan? Wow. He was, yeah. Oh, wow. He was vegan 10 years ago for three years. Wow. And then um, I said, it's a very different ball game now. Yes. It's very, it's a lot I more convenient now. <laughs> so I said, you can get, we can walk in. We have more products now, so therefore it must work. We have more supplements now, so therefore it must work. Veganism is our natural diet. This is why it is so healthy for human beings. Never mind that we never had access to supplements before. We're here and, get and it still doesn't work. So, Spoiler. So, you know, so he's gonna, he's thinking about getting back on it. Very good. So yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. This is my friend Azza, he's a subscriber. Hey brother, uh, you want a hug? Oh, okay. Yes, I love How you going, Azza? <laughs> Good. Love you too, Azza. Oh, first met, is love at first sight. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'll how are you? With <laughs> What's your name, lovely? Polly. Polly, nice to meet you, Polly. Yeah. I'm going to vegan camp out, can't wait for that. Oh yeah? Nice. Yeah. Nice, that's good. Good. The funny thing to me is watching those people being excited about the vegan camp out. They're gonna be ex-vegans. Get hammered. Get hammered at vegan camp out. <laughs> get on the eckies in the, in the tent. The DJs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you want, man. I did that convoy goat. 
Uh, really good, really pleasant actually. Nice. Not much pushback, just really agreeable. How about the kids? They were really nice. They said that they'd been learning about it in school, in lessons. What? Uh, eth ethical studies. So Earthly Ed, their teacher? <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Namaste village. They're taking those terms from vegetarians, not vegans, by the way. Vegetarians are murderers too, remember? Yeah. Of course you're starving, man. So, they did More this cups. special uh, vegan lamb labapta. Wow. So this is not on the menu, but we've got that to try. Bombay potatoes, pilau rice, tanka dal, masala dosa, sambar. These are my favorites, but you have to try all the things. Thank you, Rick. Yeah. This is just a bunch of gluten, vegetable oils and stuff that tries to replicate meat. Why would you eat it? And how would you build muscles on it? How is this a fit day of eating? <laughs> So much blasphemy in this video. As I said already, if you really care about compassion, you must care about your religious friends out there as well, no? <laughs> Joey Carlstrom of internet fame, how are you enjoying your Indian food? It's very spicy and delicious. I also like the um, this mock meat. The vegan lamb. The vegan lamb. Yeah, it's very good. Too. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. It almost doesn't taste like a vegetable. Kind of reminds me of meat. That's why it's good, but meat is bad. I think that's soya based. Yeah. Mm, soya, soya based. That's a really good texture. You guys are soya based, man. Can you see why it's the most uh, popular dish in the southern area? I can. Because it's crunchy and soft in the middle. But um, I, I actually really like this. Yeah. If I had to choose, I would say Of course this. you do, man. It's more my style, that one. Mm. Your style. So your style is when food replicates the violence that you want to avoid. Number I one, get it. Indian restaurant yes. in... Vegan Just vegan. Just the best Indian restaurant. Always gets oh, over one. The yeah. hungry yeah. eyes on those people. Yeah. Man. It tastes like India. Beautiful mm. spices. Mm. <laughs> Proper good grab. All right, and that's it. Pretty abrupt cut there. Absolutely amazing to see what you should eat in order to build the same big muscles like Hench Herbivore. I believe you. All right, guys, but this is it for today. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.